in this video we are going to be looking at word problem and specifically we are going to be treating difference of number now i would like you to understand that difference and subtraction they both means minus do you understand now, when you hear difference, it means that you are subtracting one number from another number. Now, it is usual for you to subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. And when you do this, we call it positive difference. Now, many times, if you are just asked to find the difference between two numbers, we assume that what is being asked of is the positive difference. Now, for you to understand this very well, let's take an illustration. Now, if I ask you to find the difference between 7 and 15, remember, difference means minus. So, what I mean is 15 minus 7, which is equals to 8. Do you understand? If I say find the difference between 18 and 9, it means 18 minus 9, which is equals to 9. So you can see when they ask me to find the difference between two numbers, I'm assuming that what they mean is the positive difference. So I'm putting the bigger number in front. Find the difference between 7 and 15. I said 15 minus 7. Find the difference between 18 and 9. I said 18 minus 9. I hope you understand. Now let's go to the second, which is subtraction. What does it mean to subtract? Remember, subtract means minus. But one thing I want you to note under subtraction is that if I ask you to subtract 7 from 15, it means I'm taking 7 from 15. Now let's take an illustration too, so you can just understand this very well. So if I say subtract 7 from 15. Now, what I mean is that 15 should come first from 15. So, that is 15 minus 7, which is equals to 8. Do you understand? But if I say subtract 24 from 12. Subtract 24 from 12. So, it means from 12. So, 12 comes first. And 12 minus 24 is minus 12. Do you understand? So the point I'm trying to make here is that when they ask you to subtract something from another thing, the thing that comes after from is what comes first. Subtract 20 from 50. It means 50 minus 20. And this is equals to 30. I hope you understand. Now let's take some examples. Now let's solve this. Now first we have A, 24 and 68. Now remember, when we are asked to find the positive difference, the bigger number comes first. We have 68 minus 24. 8 minus 4 is 4. 6 minus 2 is 4. So we have 44. Do you understand? Now let's do B. B we have... The difference, the positive difference between minus 10 and 20. Remember, the bigger number comes first. So we have 20 minus, then the next number is minus 10. So we have to put it in bracket. 20 minus minus 10. So we are going to be having 20 minus 10 is minus is plus. So we have 20 plus 10. And that will be equals to what? 30. Do you understand? Now let's do C here. For C, we have find the difference between 8 and minus 5. The positive difference. Now remember, the bigger number comes first. So we have 8 minus minus 5. Do you understand? 8 minus minus 5. And that will give us 8 minus times minus is plus. 8 plus 5, that is equals to 13. Now I want to give a third one. If we are asked to find the difference between minus 2 and minus 12. Now remember, the bigger one comes first. 
Now, in this case, minus 2 is bigger than minus 12. Now, the way to explain this is that if you look at a number line, a number line is a line that contains real numbers, so both positive and negative numbers. The middle is 0, and to the right you have positive numbers. Then to the left you have negative numbers. Now look, it means that minus 3 is bigger than minus 4. Do you understand? The closer a negative number is to 0, the bigger the number. So minus 1 is bigger than minus 4. So in this case, minus 2 is bigger than minus 12. So minus 2 comes first. So we have minus 2 minus minus 12. And that will give us minus 2 plus 12. Minus 2 plus 12 is 10. 